Hey everybody, welcome to Galaxy Moons, and I'm your host, Baby J. Um, my first video, yes, my first video is going to be on MicroPay, and the unfortunate notion that this may be a fucking perfectly formulated scam. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take you guys through the website, take you guys through some of the key points where, which made me, you know, because I invested in this project, by the way, guys, so... Um, and it was a private sale too as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take you guys through, show you guys how legit the, the website really looks, how, how in depth the white paper is. Cause guys, I mean, this, this, this project could have, could have fooled me, man. Like, I mean, it, it's, it was so well put together, you know? Um, now there was a couple key things that I should have, um, paid more attention to. And I'm gonna get into that in this video as well, but, uh, let's go ahead and start. Let's start by going down the, uh. Nice rabbit hole here of their website, right? See, they got the, wi the white paper, you know what I mean? Uh, that's a little bit of brief introduction into the company and what they stand for. Um, here we are, about micropay, right? They go all the way down and have a very, very uh, detailed roadmap. Let's go down here so you guys are able to see it here. So, yeah. Um, so, let's go back to quarter. So, quarter one. You know, pre-sale, multiple exchange listings, smart uh, contract, audit, marketing. So, you know, I, I generally assume that I got in during quarter one, of course, because I got in during this pre-sale. All right. Oh, well, it was a private sale before the pre-sale. So it's uh, quarter two prototype uh, micro pay platform. So they're going to have like some kind of a beta. I'm going on with their platform, multiple exchange listings. So the goal is to try to get on multiple exchanges, right? Quarter three, um, MicroPay mobile app launch in Apple and Google Play Store. So that's big. They're trying to actually have their app go viral in quarter three, right? And quarter four, um, platform launch on Varnad Smart Chain, uh, NVP development. I don't know what, I mean, most valuable player development. I don't know what that's about, but hey, that's what they got going on here. They also have uh, deals uh, um, and offers, implementation, PayPal and Stripe payment, gateway integration. So they're trying to really target, guys, um, the market of, or at least I thought, they're trying to target the e-commerce view of uh, or e-commerce sector of things the shopping department man how, how you pay for your goods um and what pro uh platform you use to pay for your goods they're trying to make it easier and seamless with cryptocurrency which i was really intrigued by because like i said this is a very well put together um website um i mean look they even have the micro pay card guys like i mean anybody can have a, a pay card i'm just saying you know but why go through this extent if you're gonna scam someone but I guess, man, y'all, it was a really good scam. It had to be. All right. So here we go. Now let's go ahead and go to this one. No, let's go all the way to the end because, um, it, you know, this is the private sale, right? So they have a private sale. This is completely off from what the private sale is. And we'll go ahead and get into that um, for about two days overdue on this end here. But it starts on the 26th and it's on the 1st of February, right? Um... This is what the MIT price is, or the, um, you know, the MicroPay uh, token price is. The total available in circulation is about 100 million. So that's another thing that got me into it. I'm like, this this doesn't have really a high supply, especially for what they're trying to do. So I kind of expected that this project would explode, um, just for the fact that w what they're trying to target. There was definitely some real future I seen in this project, which is super unfortunate that um, they may be a scam. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead, like I said, and give you guys the brief key things that made me think this was a scam after I made my investment. Um, you know, so like I said, 100 million uh, MIP with supply, um, you know what I mean? And there's a total, you know, amount that you can invest in the private sale. You know, they were having their little, you know, you feel me. Anyways, go down. This is who they're partnered with. They're partnered with uh, fully verified coin payments. And I don't know if you guys can see there. Optool Electronica. I don't know who they are, but hey. <clears throat> so let's go, let's go, let's go back to the top here. Now, the website was good, but what really was good was this white paper because how in-depth it really was. Like, I'm telling you guys, this was, it's it's so unfortunate here. All right, so let's go. White paper, micro, micro pay, right? It 
goes into such in-depth detail. This is a 36-page white paper, guys. Um, I'm not even going to go through the, the, the reading this, man. Like, I mean, you guys can go on the website and check it out yourself because the website is still active. Um, but I'm telling you, this was the most... Um, this was a phenomenal white paper for it to turn out to be scamish. Um, you know what I mean? Um, there was a line in here that really got me as well. So to overall sum, sum up what they're trying to do here, the goal of the MIP token is to be part of everyone's day-to-day -day online and in-store shopping. So they're trying to implement this payment system, just like a PayPal or a Cash App, um, you know, or Apple Pay, that those are the ones I'm really getting. I'm not seeing like peer-to-peer -peer transfers. I mean, I'm sure they're gonna have that, but I think the main thing that they're trying to take over is be cryptocurrency Apple Pay or cryptocurrency uh, PayPal or cryptocurrency Cash App type thing, you know, which is so cool, you know what I mean? Like, imagine for the everyday average person that knows nothing about cryptocurrency, for them to go in, they use this platform, they got some Bitcoin, they don't know what they're gonna do with the Bitcoin, but in USD value, they're able to use this platform to go ahead and just buy normal shit you know, like they would with any kind of car, you know, that, that is, that was great. I loved it. I love the idea. So, you know, like I said, this is a very, very in-depth white paper and they go over the challenges, how they're going to approach it, their objectives. I mean, guys, this, you could have fooled me. You could have God dang well fooled me, you know? So, going down 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 downtown i mean they 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 put a lot of effort into us now if this was this if this is actually a real company and somebody else is is, is going through it and, and uh trying to duplicate then that freaking sucks and this company needs to get online and make sure that their stuff is in order because like i said for this this kind of effort and work to be put on and just to be looked at as kind of a scam it, it it's crazy to me but yeah guys like i said this is a 35 page um 35 page uh, white paper so yeah awesome completely awesome right so let's go back to this website here now during the private sale how i even got into the private sale was i was into um i was on a telegram group and somebody pretty much spammed the uh, telegram group with a link to this uh telegram right so i'm like okay let me go ahead and check it out went on there checked it out obviously like i knew like, from the gate i had a feeling it was a scam I'm like, man, you know, spammers, people like to come shield their projects. I'm like, let me go ahead and check this out real quick. Let me see what's up. So, um, you know, get in there. I look at, you know, I'm checking out Telegram. They didn't have much. It was a brand new Telegram. They had a link to the website here. They had a link. They said they're doing a private pre-sale for their early Telegram uh, members, right? So if you, you get in early, you get in on this private sale, which, hey, honestly, cool. That's cool beans like that you know so i would go in and that's how i got to check out the website went through the white paper i'm like wow you know so i for i, I this this pre-sale was going on for about six days and i just invested yesterday so it's about day three um because i was still i was going through the white paper i was trying i was doing my due diligence now here's where i should have paid a little bit more attention they they didn't have like the devs were in docs. They didn't show their faces and stuff like that, right? Um, they said they were in the project. They were in the process of getting their KYC confirmation going, right? So, you know, I'm like, okay. They got an audit done, but the audit was done by a, a company that, when I looked in at the company, they were only doing audits for like 250 bucks. And I mean, they passed the audit, but I'm like, you know, for 250 bucks, I'm sure an audit company could probably say anything. You know what I mean? Um, so I kind of thought it was just a little weird there, but I still went in, you know, um, was, like I said, it was that white paper that got me, man, that white paper that got me and we're in the telegram group and people slowly but surely when I got in, it was only about, a like 97 people. Um, on the third day, it was about 300 and like 30 people, you know, so people were in there active, you know what I mean? Just super active. And, uh, I mean, if you go on to the pre-sale site, um, where it's at the private sale, it shows a t like a timeline of how much people have contributed to the, to the, you know, the pre-sale. And it was just going up and up and up because, I mean, there was a lot of people in the Telegram group that were just like me thinking that it was going to, you know, do big things. Because, I mean, like I said, you look at this and you think that, okay, this right here, you know, 
like I said, that white paper got me. The website was cool. I mean, anybody can make a website. Don't get me wrong, man. And I know y'all probably going to be in the, in, in the comments, probably call me all kind of dumbasses and, and, and whatnot, whatever, you know. Um, everybody in the crypto community has fell for a scam once or twice here, you know what I mean? This is probably like my first scam, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, yeah, so, you know, everybody's engaging, everybody's excited, the, the you know, the the contribution amounts are going up, so I'm like, okay, people are believing in this project, project. a lot of people are joining the group now, it's really, it's really getting out there, so I'm like, okay, it's late at night now at this point, I'm laying down, and I'm like, let me just go ahead and throw, you know, throw a b, &B in there, right, so, uh, b, b at the time was like 380, so I'm like, let me just go ahead and throw one b, &B. so, one b, &B was supposed to get me about three, I mean, 420,000 MIP, right? I'm like, all right, cool. So how they did it was when you, because there were so many people, um, I guess they were automatically clearing people for the payment because you couldn't, you couldn't pay with your actual wallet, which is kind of crazy. That's another thing too. <clears throat> you had to actually send the BNB somewhere. Um, so, you know, I'm like, okay, they asked for the wallet address, they gave the contract for the actual tokens, so I went ahead and download that, that, that contract for the token in my trust wallet, and I, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead, so I go ahead and I do the payment and everything, payment went through, they sent me an email, everything was super, like, to me, on a legit side, that's kind of why it's a little weird, but once again, this wasn't the normal way that you go about it, but I've never done a pre-sale before, that's the thing, I've done, um, I mean, not pre-sale, I've done, pri I've never done a private sale, uh, pre-sales, yes, you know, you go on DXL, you know, you do your thing, woo -woo. but um, I've never done a private sale before, so I thought that this was probably the process that you go through. So after the payment, I think I probably was the last payment, it had to have been, because it was the, the deadline of the, for the contribution was already to, to almost to the limit. So I woke up in the morning and uh, I got the email. Hey, comp payment went through, yada, yada, yada. All right, cool, man. You know, I'm in there. Let's go ahead and show you guys the dashboard, right? So boom, payment went through. Boom, I got 420,000 MIP, right? And this is a total equivalent of 399. I mean, so damn it, $400. <clears throat> All of a sudden, Telegram is gone, right? Literally, I'm in a Telegram group trying to type. All of a sudden, I get booted out. Telegram group gone. I'm like, wait, what? So I'm going, I'm trying to search for it. Telegram group nowhere in existence. As soon as the sale closed, it seemed like they just kind of removed the Telegram group. Then uh, I try to go, I had a, a, a DM with the actual, uh, like, uh, what is it, the manager of the Telegram group or the, the, the dev, supposedly, uh, Matthew Sullivan. All of a sudden, his stuff is, I mean, his 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 telegram is still there. I think he kind of just bounced out. Let's go ahead and have a look here. Let's see here. Yeah, you know what I mean? Matthew Sullivan, man, if y'all don't even see. So, <clears throat> he, uh, I ain't got no response. I asked him where the telegram group went and got no response for that trying to go um they have an email support right here at the bottom here support at micropayfinance.com or whatever the case may be you can't even i'm getting bounced back emails telling me that this don't even exist so i'm like oh okay like you know and at the end of the day you feel me this was a gamble i kind of already had a feeling that it would have been scammish but you know i just didn't think it would be uh, so immediate but um you know i didn't invest anything that I wasn't scared to lose and I you know what I mean this is obviously lesson learned you know it doesn't how it doesn't matter how legit a project looks man you know you need to need to do a lot more due diligence on on these projects like as far as with the people who are involved I mean like I said the guy uh, the owner of it didn't even show his face um he was they, you know they didn't really have too much of a social media presence at that um, you know, and I'm thinking that, you know, this is a brand new token. So I'm thinking that, you know, they, they, they said that we're getting this stuff in order, you know, giving the benefit of the doubt. But, um, yeah, you can't really find MicroPay no other where but the website. And I think they got a Twitter. I had, I reached out to them on Twitter and asked them what the hell happened to the, you know, to the Telegram group, but nothing, you know, so it's kind of like they got that first initial, uh, um, 
21 B and B that that was a Mac, you know, the, the, the a Mac hard cap, and they kind of bounced out with it. You know what I mean? So they bounced out with a few grand. You know what I mean? And I'm like, wow. But crazy thing is, it seemed like they still <laughs> trying to get mo. So y'all took out the Telegram group. And y'all, y'all, it's kind of like y'all extended the pre-sale now. So let's go ahead and uh, display capture. Let's go ahead and move this thing down here for y'all. So y'all can have a little bit of an idea of what I'm looking at here. Check that out, right? See that? So they went ahead and removed the, uh, you know, the Telegram group where people can be active and ask questions and whatnot. But they went ahead and opened up this pre-sale shit again, this private sale thing again, and and, and, and lengthen the hard cap to about 38 BNB now. So, I mean, honestly, guys, I would tell you guys to be very, 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 very careful with this company here. Um, do not, do not invest what you cannot afford to lose. And I wouldn't put anything in this until, I mean, they're going to have to come at me with a, with some sort of an explanation as to why, um, as to why this is, is happening, it is what it is, you know what I mean? They're going to have to come at me correct with this because I've reached out multiple different ways that from all the contacts that I've seen, and I'm not getting any responses. So it's like y'all got the initial first 21 BMB and just kind of bounced out on everybody, you know? Things are looking a little strange. And let's go down here. So so the um, the sale uh, ends, right? It ends three days and eight hours. So remember on the first page, it was showing it was one day and some change. And now on this page, you're seeing it's three days. So there's definitely some fishy business going on over here with this company. Um, you know, and, 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 and once again, we don't know if this is the real devs doing this or this is, uh, you know, a scammer that kind of branched off and tried to build their own thing and tried to use their name. I don't know what it is, but MicroPay, you guys definitely need to get together because y'all for sure, I mean, if this is the case, I mean, I was scammed. I already took it took it as I was scammed, man, you know. So I just have, um, and this ain't even my wallet. I have, it says receiving wallet here, right? But I'm not, you know, I haven't received anything in my trust wallet and I downloaded the, the contract for it. And, um, you know, freaking, it's just, it's just, it's just a little weird. Like I said, you know, now I have these tokens sitting up over here on this website that I have no access to. It's saying the value of what I put into it. You know what I mean? It's saying it, right? 399 right there, right? But I mean, we're, I don't have any access to these funds, but y'all do have access to that BNB that I sent you. So, you know, so anyways, guys, I just thought that I'll give you guys a full one on this. I mean, definitely, this is a very, very good example of a, I'm a newer crypto investor, right? I've been in the game for about a year and some months now, so I'm not too versed with everything. I watch a lot of people, listen to a lot of podcasts, you know, there's a lot of people that kind of forewarn you about stuff like this going on in the community. And, um, you know, this is a definite, um, Example of pay, do you do your due diligence because hey, four hundred dollars to me. Some people may have invested way more than that in this and lost way more, you know. So, um, this is definitely, definitely, definitely um, something you need to keep, keep, keep your eye on, and definitely make sure that you guys keep, you know, do your due diligence when it goes down to investigating these projects. Do not, do not, do not off the strength just think that you can just, you know trust the trust the project i thought i could trust the project because they looked 100 percent legit to me they really really did on the outside looking in they really did they did a lot um uh they put a lot of work in it just to scam people off and that's the thing you know um and that's the scary part too you know because people go to this extent to to scam you know and uh they use the perfect kind of a uh, kind of a utility, you know what I mean? Because the utility that they're offering here is would be amazing if they really were going to do it. Now, once again, they're going to have to reach out to me to let me know, you know, because this video is going out. I don't care. Um, but if this ain't a scam, they're going to reach out to me and give me some kind of explanation to that because I'm trying to figure out how y'all built the, the Telegram group up so high, literally in the span of three days, um, and when y'all hit y'all hard cap for the initial first 21, um, B and B, y'all just kind of, y'all just kind of, you know, just went off the face of the earth. Then y'all put, y'all open this thing back up, and made the hard cap 30, 38 B and B. Like what? That doesn't make any sense. Te the Telegram. That's why. That's where a lot of projects get their interaction. They build their community is through Telegram. So why would you? Why? Why? Why would you just delete it? You know, unless you were scamming, which you probably were. Um. You guys didn't give any kind of uh, 
legit way to contact even the email y'all got over here is not even working guys like the shit said doesn't even exist my email got bounced back so support at microfay.finance doesn't even exist so don't even try reaching out to them because you're gonna you're gonna be very disappointed um but yeah guys um just just a little food for thought definitely do your due diligence do not you know you guys want to investigate this company a little bit more you guys sure can but I would stay the freak away from it because um, right now it's not looking too good for them. Like I said, they're going to have to come with some kind of explanation um, to be looking so legit as they do. And just to, I mean, like, guys, I mean, the thing is just, it's, it's, it's going to buy token, man. Yeah, buy token and it just directs you right back to this page, you know. So, like I said, I have four 420,000 MIP in here that I just have. I don't even think I have access to. They didn't send it to the wallet. Um, they said that after the sale, so I'm assuming after this pre-sale ends in three days, which I thought it was over because they reached that max cap initially, um, that you would, you know, we would be receiving the MIP in the wallet address that we gave. But, of course, you know, you, you don't know. You never know with these people, right? You never know with scammers, so... Anyways, guys, uh, that is it for this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do apologize that my first video had to be this one, but I hope this kind of gets get you guys in the mode of just knowing that what I'm going to bring to you guys. I'm going to bring you guys some raw and uncut. Um, I would never lie about this on my channel. I mean, I've had previous YouTube channels before, and um, I keep it 100, keep it solid all the way through. So, you know, this is not investment advice. I, did, I, I hope that no one got the idea to invest in this after I just told you guys I think I was scammed. Um, that would probably be the most idiotic thing to do. But hey, you know, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, nor is this financial advice. Do with this information as you will. Um, and uh, if you make money, on that's on you. You lose money, that's on you. But only you gonna do what you do. So just keep it pushing, guys. Anyways, peace. I will see you guys on the next video.